Today I will be benchmarking the Intel Pentium Gold G7400 in Fortnite Chapter 4 on Season 2. I am also pairing this with a Nvidia RTX 3060 and 32GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3200MHz to prevent any other bottlenecks. Without further ado, let's get into the game. Starting off, I am testing 1080p on performance mode on the low settings, and the game was running pretty good. It was getting roughly 200 frames per second on average. And you might think, what do you mean by pretty good? That's amazing. Well, it is until you look at the 1% lows. The 1% lows are around 30. Keep in mind, 30 is quite nice, but that's actually not the full picture. The reason why I have to say that is because the game was actually actively giving big stutters pretty often and it was pretty annoying. But after a little while, maybe 5 minutes, it did sort itself out a bit and it was less stuttery, but all in all, it wasn't the best experience, but it's still pretty playable. Next up is 1080p on the low settings, and this is on DirectX 12. And on 1080p on the low settings, the game was running about the same. It was more intensive, it was only getting around 120 frames per second on average, instead of roughly 200 frames per second on average, though the 1% lows were still about the same, and the game looked a little tiny bit better. But still, it wasn't very good looking. Also, I did have to go and cut the audio out, because the car's radio was turned on, and I'm unsure if that's copyright or not. But one way or another, this conclusion is about the same as on performance mode. It ran fine, but the stutters were there, and they were quite annoying. To be fair, if the game was running slower on a slower CPU, I'd be somewhat fine with the stutters, but this isn't really that slow of a CPU. It's not like a Celeron G470, for example. 1080p on the medium settings was running at roughly 110 frames per second on average, and the 1% lows were about the same, they were in the 20s. Now, I need to add something. On medium settings, I did accidentally have a frame rate cap turned on, though that really didn't affect the frame rate all that much. So, the frame rate cap was 120, and the average frame rate I got was around 110. So, all in all, I don't think the frame rate cap affected the frame rate all that much, and even if it did, that's roughly what the CPU gets, it got roughly 110 frames per second. If I were to play this game a lot, I would actually pick the medium settings out of any of the settings. The reason why is they aren't that intensive, and they look pretty good. Because the high and epic settings are much more intensive, and yeah, they look a little bit better, but is it really worth the FPS hit? Well, let's find out. 1080p on the high settings was mostly graphics card bound, which is pretty impressive because this is an RTX 3060 and a Pentium, but the CPU was also being stressed quite a bit too. And I think that did attribute to the 1% lows in this case. The reason why is the 1% lows were less than 20. They were less than 10 as well. They were around 5. So, that is actually really ungood. Is ungood a word? I don't know. It's a word now, though. And the average frame rate was under 60. It was hovering around 50 to 55 frames per second. And all in all, I cannot recommend playing the game on 1080p on the high settings. Next up is 1080p on the Epic preset. And on the Epic preset, the game was running at roughly 40 frames per second on average, and the 1% lows were around 18 frames per second. Both of those numbers are not very good. The 1% low is better than it was on the high settings, for sure, but the average frame rate is lower. But I would actually take the Epic settings over the high settings in this case, because it actually did run smoother. Slightly. It still wasn't a very good experience, and the frame time graph was equivalent to a wall. So, not very ideal. And it doesn't really matter what part of the map I'm in, it's still going to stutter. 
And I was pretty much right. The medium settings do seem to be the correct settings to choose for a lot of graphics cards and CPUs in this game, because it isn't all that intensive and the visuals are quite nice. And you can run the medium settings on pretty much any graphics card and get a quite nice and playable result out of it. For example, a GTX 970 or an Intel Arc A380. Those can run the medium settings just fine, even at 1440p. Either way, thank you for watching, I hope this video did help you in some way, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day!